But there's always a lot more to learn. That's why I'm scribbling doodles in this notepad. Because science. That's a man is. What? Licks? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at me socializing. Thank you. <laughs> this is a very interesting specimen. Yes, Demetrius, it's called mayonnaise. Hey everybody, I want to wheeze them here. It is 11.59 p.m. Wednesday, September 14th, or the 23rd of fall here in Stardew Valley. Haven't gotten to record anything at all in like a week. Just about, I guess not quite a week, but almost a week. Uh, if you can't tell, my voice is a little scratchy. It may totally disappear. I don't know, that's why I've not been able to record. Uh, not sick, just lost my voice. Maybe someday I'll tell you the story. But, uh, that's, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I debated doing this, like, with no commentary. You know, I thought that would kind of be interesting. But, ultimately, I thought, no, I'll just wait. So, I had to wait longer than we thought. But, uh, it's gonna be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Not sure we can do Pam's voice today. <clears throat> A little concerned about that. Welcome back to Whalewick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, you've come to the right place. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with their good fortune. So, what in the world were we doing when we left off? I think I remember frantically having to go to bed. Ha! <laughs> this is why I brought you out here. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh! Emily Sims? Well, that was my voice cutting out. Wisdom! Flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. Yeah, we're gonna have some problems talking today. <laughs> uh, you'll feel energized. See you soon, Emily. New cooking recipe salad. I hope that's something we can actually make, because right now all I can really make is uh, trail mix, which is nice, but the pine cones are nuts. So let's actually... I guess we can't see that until we have a kitchen, huh? Oh, man. Well, let's refresh ourselves while we're here together. Alright, so we've already... Ooh, we can still give a gift to Abigail. <clears throat> Demetrius Linus. This is probably, in retrospect, not the best idea I've ever had. Um, we'll see. We'll get through it somehow. Man, I tell you what, you don't give people a gift in a while and they just hate you. It's crazy. Alright, so I think this is where I will cut, and I will rejoin you for hopefully some socializing with an awkward voice, so stay tuned for that. And we're back. I've had to eat five of our blackberries because I nearly starved just watering plants. I've never I've watered a lot of plants in my day, and I've never had it really make me quite that tired. But <laughs> whatever. Uh, I think we're going to pay ourselves a much-needed Lee Garfield. Tell ya. Okay. Okay, let's get this out of here, and anything else? That's not gonna fit. Let's throw the honey in there, we'll keep this. This is a mixture of everything, isn't it? So... <laughs> uh... that, it's that. I'll probably sell some of this eventually, but you know, for now. I'll keep that there, and then... Did we keep yams? I guess we did, because that went in there, so corn can go too. Fantastic. Our field. Okay, thankfully we could reach it. <laughs> uh, is that not where we have this? <coughs> Alright, good kitty. Uh, true story, today at work, uh, when I was locking up, I found a little kitten uh, in like uh, the pallets section, you know, of the facility, I guess you would say. Uh, so that was... So that was cool. Uh, we might try to keep it as a shop cat. Uh, it's very strange though, you usually do not see like one kitten by itself, there's usually in multiples. Let's go ahead and get our ho <coughs> out in hoops. Aha! Not necessarily that we'll forge wild plums, but I'll take it. I was just thinking we might get some worms or something. Already I can tell uh, this is probably not a great idea. My voice is rapidly going out. Hey, what's up, Linus? I have some mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, we'll talk first. We'll talk first. Some joker sprayed paint all over my home during the night. It took hours to scrub it off in the morning. Sounds like Sam. Uh, I have some mayonnaise. <laughs> this is a great gift. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Alright, so let's get ourselves in here. I really kind of want to mine, but uh, before
before we do anything, we need to stop ourselves from having to eat all of our foraged goods by doing. It's been so long, like I said. Uh, true story, though. Yesterday, well, not yesterday, but 2 to the 12th, whenever that would have been now. <clears throat> it's always awkward, because I record super late at night, but, uh, there was a new Pac-Man game that came out, and I'm kind of, like, if I was able to talk, I would have bought it that day, it's like twelve ninety nine on Steam, and, uh, played some, probably would have tried to live stream it, I haven't gotten time to really set up OBS yet on a new computer, but, uh, I, I don't know. No, no, no. I didn't think the stairs would be here. <laughs> you know. Uh, so I thought that was cool. That's something I might try to do in the future. I've always enjoyed Pac-Man games. Uh, there's actually this like humble bundle sale. I guess it's probably still going on. Actually, three o'clock. We have time to do nothing in this game. The time we get to cleanse or any. You know, it's all gonna be shut. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, the Humble Bundle had, the, you know, a bunch of the old games, and then the big draw for me was it had Battle Royale. Uh, Battle Royale, if you did not know, it's kind of like something that, uh, if you go, uh, you know what, I can't help myself, we have energy now. If you go to Dave and Buster's, it's like the most epic Pac-Man game ever, particularly if you have three friends with you. Uh, I have played more than my fair share of that. Uh, don't have one locally, you know, but... I have been to, uh, we usually go to one when we go out of town to certain places, so, um, I love that. That's probably my favorite arcade game of the most recent era of arcade games. Back in the day, it would have been a Turtles game. I don't know what it was, but it was like, it, you see, pennies or something? And it was, it was pretty awesome. But, uh, Battle Royale, and there's different versions of it. I think I could buy what Dave and Buster's had for... Eleven thousand five hundred dollars, <laughs> uh, which I don't have to invest in arcade games, unfortunately. But if I did, that would be the one I would get. And you, can you walk on that roof? That would be so cool if you could. One point two concerned ape. I can go on the roof to stargaze. Actually, you can stargaze. I just don't know how. You just have to give Velma a bunch of gold, I guess. Aha! Look at us. Predicted the future. Play, sweet. I'm. <laughs> I'm actually wanting to build. I don't know what this dude likes at all. Let's just talk to him. Yes. Pumpkin spice this. Pumpkin spice that. Man, I don't get sick of these. Man, I do get sick of these seasonal fads. <laughs> uh, another story though. Uh, concerned Ape, the developer. This was at what? Was it Pax West? I guess. Something like that, I don't know, one of those conventions, I think PAX West. And I saw an interview he did with a uh, PC gamer, he's like the man behind Stardew Valley, of course. And he's just uh, like really down to earth dude, and uh, sort of like I guess Notch would have been back in the day, you know? Uh, we know a lot about nature thanks to science, <laughs> but there's always a lot more to learn. That's why I'm scribbling doodles in this notepad, because science. That's a man is. What? Licks? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at me socializing. Thank you. <laughs> this is a very interesting specimen. Yes, Demetrius, it's called mayonnaise. Since I'm here, you know, we've been doing some fishing lately. Let's just go see if we can go to like five ish. How do we even do this? It's been so long. And. Oh no. Thank you. I was like, what's the deal? I just want to see if we can get some... Oh, no. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while. I want to see if we can get some cheap copper, man. That's what I'm going for. What? What is the deal? Okay, thank you. Those guys are a one-hit kill, if you didn't know. Uh, so we're just solely looking for copper, and apparently now we're not. So yeah, it's, it's good to get back in here. This game has so much to do, and I never have any time to do it, because the days go so fast. <laughs> So if we could get some geodes or something for Clint's here coming up, that'd be cool. Because I really, one of these days, I'm going to do the crops at the end of the day. I've got to get to that little stand and see, like, it used to be the ice cream stand in the summer. And where is the ladder in this thing? And I just want to know, like, do they sell anything cool? Well, what is this place, you know? Uh, so that'll be interesting. Come to me, Stone. 
But yeah, he, uh, I think his name is Eric, and uh, he just seems like genuinely down to earth, and uh, he kind of covered some of his plans for the game and stuff. I got to see some of the 1.1 stuff. Uh, it looks pretty exciting. There's going to be like five new worlds, uh, sort of based on your trades. At least we're getting some kappa here. But uh, there's going to be like a river land if you want to do fishing. Uh, you can't switch an existing world, which is... I see why they set it up that way. It's kind of sad though at the same time, because like you have to reset all your social skills, you know. But uh, oh man, it's super late. <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited about it, and I think what I might do is I might run a poll, or I might just start up all of them, like the different ones, so we can get a feel for them. And okay, uh, something I've always wanted to do with this game is play it more. Uh, myself, you know, like off camera completely, or just stream the snot out of it or something. Oh, jeez. I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten hit by one of those prior to tonight. I <laughs> uh, could be wrong, maybe like the first time around, sort of a deal, but. Um, there are a ton of crates in this one, aren't there? With nothing in them. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was actually pretty cool, some of the stuff I saw there. Wow, I did not know he was going to come down here. <laughs> you know, like, I didn't think that range was going to be there. So, we got a little bit of stuff. Let's jet so we can possibly try to get to the beach. Maybe run into Abigail, who knows. Uh, but if you yeah, think PC Gamer is who had the interview with him. And uh, again, just it's always cool. You never know what's going to happen to someone if they like become rich and famous. And uh, He seems like... He seems like the type of guy that's not going to change, <laughs> which is good in my opinion. But uh, very excited about the update. Um, if you want, if you're curious about it, just watch that and you can kind of see like what I'm talking about. There's like the, I think there's even like a mining, ba basically all of your skills kind of have like their own starter seed. So if you pick up Stardew Valley for the very first time and you want to be Mr. Fisherman, you can set it up in that manner. If you want to come in, what am I doing with my life? Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, if you don't care about fishing, if you hate it and you love foraging, you can set that up. I think there's one with like extra farm space or something. Uh, it's pretty cool, I have to say. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know that I've ever seen anything there to forage before. So that's kind of cool. And there are shells here. It is 11 ish. <laughs> oh no, you're kidding me. What should we do? Tell you what, Sammy. Let's keep that on the hot bar. The man is. You never know when someone's gonna show up. Yes. Well, that's my solution for inventory management in this game: is to just eat stuff. It's actually worked quite well uh, for most of the time. That backpack would be wonderful. We're actually look at us, almost 10k. If I would sell some of the stuff instead of hoarding it, oh coral, look at you. Tons of coral too. You know what? Ooh, that's a gold star oyster. <laughs> Let's uh, eat this bad boy. And then the thing is, with my foraging perks, we're probably going to get some like silver star, gold star coral out of this mini. And if we do that, then we have another crisis in the inventory. I really want a seagull. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well. We only have two. There were clearly three of these, right? Yeah, oh jeez, I know. I swear there was like one, two, and three. What am I missing? It's got to be something obvious, right? Well, hey, we did get a geo. Sweet. Uh, okay, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we picked up three pieces of coral in IC2. And, uh, you know, I'm tired. I can't talk. I haven't played in a long time. Man, <laughs> did you see what I see? Okay, so this is probably like the most wordless. Maybe that'll queue up a quest from Rasmodius. I don't know. There was probably important stuff on the calendar too, but I'm a broke farmer, and I don't have time for that. So, let's actually check. <laughs> I'm going to risk it. Okay, cool. I think, was this a birthday from Jody's? Okay, George tomorrow. Well, I didn't get your eel, George. I apologize, but truth be told, if I went fishing, I would never get anything done. So, uh, we should have decent energy tomorrow, thanks to the sauna. And 
dad gum, is that something? Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do have wood, sweet. Let's solve a problem here. Torches, where did you go? What? What, what, what? Uh, why can I not make another torch? <laughs> I have sap. Oh, two sap. Well, problem solved. I guess the bug meat's worthless, too. Hey, well, you know, like I said, we, we do it our way. <laughs> Champions of the night. All right, so... Oh, buddy, look what we got. Uh, anyway, goodbye, bug meat. I'm actually, like I said, I'd kind of like to build another silo. Want to keep that for some paths. We'll have fun doing something with that. I could make the warp totems, but right now, that just doesn't seem practical. <laughs> so... Uh, let's unload you, and I, <laughs> I guess we've given things to Leah, I don't really know anyone else that would be happy about a plum like Leah, so let's get some cash up in here, that'll just get out of my inventory conveniently, oh hey we got coal, that's cool. And I think we'll call that good. I'd go get all that stuff, but you know what's going to happen. It's going to get super late, and we're not going to get to go to bed. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go to bed. What have we talked about? Losing our voice, Pac-Man, Pax West, uh, Concerned Ape, it's Pax West, Stardew Valley 1.1. Uh, seems like there was something else in there. I don't know, but we made 473. That may push us over. And we got the achievement clicks, uh, which... Oh, uh, I guess we will look at that in the next episode. <laughs> Maybe so. Uh, anyway, episode 75. What should we call this mess? Um... I guess we'll just call it clicks. We'll go with that. So for the bonus brick, just leave me a comment. Hashtag clicks, C-L-I-Q-U-E-S. And that will get you a bonus brick in the wall of wisdom. If you're curious, information down in the description box. You can find it in Wisdom Plays Minecraft. So check that out. Uh, you can also become a scholar of wisdom. Again, information in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I apologize about my voice and not being able to record. Uh, I have done some other stuff. I'll, I'll talk about that next episode. So what I've been doing since I couldn't record games and upload them for you. Uh, anyway, I will quit rambling. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Stardew Valley. I will catch you back here for episode 76.